Welcome. This is James Roney Staters. This is the parts list to the um, in new and improved Newman motor generator here. And I wanted just to show you the, the, the first phase of parts. Uh, what we have here is that we have um, a one inch across by two inches in length by one half inch deep neodymium magnet. Um, this is an N52. N52 is as powerful of a magnet as they come, at least for the public. Um, here we have a bushing it's for one half inch uh, internal uh, rod. What we have here is one inch washers, and you'll see how these washers work in a little bit. And since these one inch, the holes inside of the uh, one inch washers or a quarter of an inch in size. They're just a little bit too large. So I've got yet another small washer where we can get the hole a little smaller because what we have here, we have a, uh, a one inch screw, a 16th inch machine screw. And uh, we're gonna use this to uh, uh, fat bolt this together. There's two of these, so you need four one inch flat washers four smaller one inch flat washers, uh, two sixteenth inch screws. Um, these are lock nuts here. These little guys here are lock washing nuts. And um, of course then we have one more of these magnets here. And then we've got four spools of magnet wire. This is MW20 and, and uh, dash one. This is MW-24 dash one fourth, and of course the same wire again, and then of course we're back up to the larger diameter, 20 gauge uh, wire here as well. This is 315 feet on this spool. This is 198 feet on this spool. Um, what makes this nice to have different spools of wire here paired off is that we know that both of these spools of wire are really close to being exactly the same length. Then these two larger spools here at 315 feet, we know they're the same length as well. So it keeps things easy to make. Um, over here, as you'll see, I've cut out some um, uh, plastic forms here. It's gonna hold these magnets in place. You'll see how that works in, in a moment. And, then, and there's two of them here for a top and a bottom. And then we have uh, uh, one half inch rod, which is what you want to be using. I've cut this to, I think, 18 inches in length. Um, you don't have to cut it that long, but the reason I cut it that long is I plan on fastening stuff to the end of this rod. So it's going to serve as an axle and as well as a drive shaft. So it's going to serve dual purpose. So basically that's our beginning parts. Um, the only thing I didn't show you is that I have these large, uh, large sheets of Lexan. Um, I think these are eight inches by 10 inches in size. You can get them at places like Home Depot, Lowe's, or depending on where you're at in the world. It's um, 16th of an inch thick, and it's supposedly um, 250 times stronger than glass. Uh, this stuff is hard to cut. Even with a hacksaw, it's hard to cut. So be prepared to, you know, to really, you know, to have some, take some time to put all of this together. Okay, that's our parts list. You're also going to want a Phillips head screwdriver. You're also going to want some pliers here, and uh, that should get you started. Okay, well, let's put this together now. Thank you.